What is going on, my good old friends of YouTube? It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So we're going to break down SoFi in this video, go over the charts, how it did last week and on Friday, which I, I don't think I made a video yesterday or maybe even on Thursday. Uh, but either way, we're going to break down SoFi, do an update here. And later in the video, we're going to go over the indexes and probably some other stocks if we have time. So stick on throughout, guys. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. And you might as well get Get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo. Moo. Check out Interactive Brokers as well. Those are linked down below. And with that being said, cheers. Got the uh, got the OJ this morning, guys. Well, now it's actually uh, noon roughly. But either way, got the OJ, got the coffee still. Cheers. Hope you all are doing well out there today. So let's dive into it. Let's break down SoFi and see how it did in yesterday's session and overall where it's at right now on these time frames. So on the intraday chart here, you guys can see we had a lot of volatility on Friday, right? We opened up at around, let's see, $8.17, shopped to about $8.37, then right back down to $8.11. Then we ran to about, let's see, $8.30 by about $12.45 on the East Coast. Then we pretty much downtrended for the next three hours and to close where we closed at about, let's see, $8, I guess $8.17. So you guys can see we did actually make a wedge on the intraday chart for whatever that's worth at this point um, heading into the weekend, right? So you can see that, how we got into that. Even in the aftermarket you know, trading, you guys can see that as well. And here on the five-day, five-minute, we can notice, what do we see? This is a descending triangle. Let me show you guys this. We have clear support at around, let's see, where is that? $8.10. And we have lower highs being made into that support, which is not good for the bulls in the short term. I'm not going to lie. This looks uh, pretty bearish as, again, lower highs are being made. And if this were to you know, play out, we go under $8.10, under $8. From that point, we could be selling off even more um, You know, back to the sevens. Totally possible, in my personal opinion, guys, which could open up for more opportunities We'll see how that plays out. Obviously, I'll tell you guys what I do in real time, uh, you know, in these videos. So make sure you all subscribe. I haven't bought SoFi in a couple of weeks. I forget the last time I bought, but it was, I think, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Uh, but since that, I've just been holding on and uh, just sitting on the position, right? And at this point, again, if we do see that triangle play out, and you'll see it on the 30-minute chart as well, we could be getting more downside, maybe down towards 775 roughly, which is where the stock was. You guys can see on the sell-off on the 13th of February, so about 10 days ago, right? So that could be where SoFi goes, which could open up an interesting opportunity, right? Or it would be interesting at that point. That'd be a 4% drop if that were to play out. And let's say, for example, we broke under 775, and you know, on this 20-day chart, we can see from that point, we could start going down to 745. So listen, if we do see that triangle play out on the uh, five day, on the 10 day that we saw, right, the overarching wedge on this one hour chart would break to the downside. You guys can see right here. If I draw it out, you notice that, right? We'd start going to the downside. And on the four hour chart, we would also start breaking down as well, which guys, that would not be good for the bulls in the short term, right? So you can see how the bears kind of do have an edge in the short term, I would argue here. Although still, obviously, it could go either way um, in the short term because we're still not really picking direction on the four hour. But the fact that on the smaller time frames, we have that descending triangle, it's not the best uh, case for the bulls here. The bears do look like on the smaller time frames, especially like they have an edge right now. And we'll see kind of how it plays out here moving forward. Let me set some alerts. I'll put one at $8. Mark is at or below. And I'll do another one at maybe $8.50 for now. Uh, Mark is at or above. So we can see what direction uh, we do end up picking here. So that's a breakdown on SoFi very quickly, guys. And let's go over to these indexes, which you all know. We hit all-time highs on SPY the NASDAQ, and on the Dow Jones, guys, after really NVIDIA's earnings, which sparked a massive rally uh, the next day. So you guys can see here, SPY hit $510.13 on Friday, 
and Thursday hit an all uh, it hit an all time high as well. So back to back all time highs. And here on the five day five minute, you can see how much this went up after Nvidia's earnings. We're talking a good three and a half, almost three and a half percent on SPY. And Triple Q also saw a monstrous run. Obviously. Uh, it's all time highs, that is. And it went up from 421 to 440. That was a move of almost 4.5%. And the Dow Jones also moved massively from 38.3 to 39.3, all time high, which was a move of 2.4%. And the Russell, let's see this one, guys, uh, from 1980 top to bottom here from the uh, past two days, that was a 2.2% move from 1980 to 2025. Um, so the Russell's moving, Dow, NASDAQ, S&P again, thanks to NVIDIA, which if I pull NVIDIA up, let's see the chart quickly and see what that's looking like here. Guys, let's see what's going on. Yup, just hit an all-time high yet again on Friday at 823. Now it looks like we are pulling back a bit. It's at 788, so we did see a pretty decent pullback intraday on Friday and we could argue you know you could argue anybody could argue really that this is going down maybe to the mid 700s again uh, before maybe seeing another rally from there um, a lot of analysts think it's going a thousand twelve hundred we'll see how that plays out but look we're getting the pullback maybe it comes down to again mid 700s which is where it was um, you know, throughout the middle of this month and really up until a couple days ago. So that was resistance. <clears throat> now it's acting as support or it should. So we'll see how that plays out um, on NVIDIA. And let's see some other ones here very quickly, guys. Before we do wrap up the video, I appreciate you all for tuning in. Smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you have not done so already. We're trying to get the 50,000 subs this year. I appreciate you all as always. So let me see some other names uh, we have a bunch of earnings coming up this week, which I'll save that for tomorrow's video. So make sure you guys be in tune for tomorrow's video where we're going to break down the up and coming earnings for this week. What companies I'm watching, the estimates, all that good stuff. Uh, so watch out for that. But for now, let me see some red stocks from Friday. Looks like, <clears throat> excuse me, Mercado Libre, which we covered already. Uh, but that one took a bit of a haircut which is one that I'm looking out for for actually a rebound play. So M-E-L-I, keep your eyes on that. Let's see, what else here? Enphase actually went down as well on Friday, a pretty big drop there, which we actually have a head and shoulders on Enphase right now. Not loving that, so we'll see if there's more downside uh, there. Let me see what else here, guys. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Coinbase, oh wow, Coinbase also sold off a good chunk on Friday, which now... Um, it's pretty much right back to the 50 SMA on the four hour chart. We're down a good almost 30 bucks from that peak post earnings uh, or about 15%. So keep your eyes on Coinbase on this dip here, guys, by the moving averages. Quite interesting spot, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo, each up to $2,000. Fund your account with at least 100 bucks. Using that link down below, you get five stocks. And funded with at least a thousand dollars, you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks each up to two thousand dollars, guys. So use that link down below. And with that being said, cheers! I'll catch you all later.